Hey you guys, it's Sunshine Vibes. Look at how vibrations. If you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. If you are returning, thank you for subscribing to your girl. Love and light to you all. I hope everybody's doing good. So I'm going to tap in and see what messages I have for you all today. Please take what resonates. If it does not resonate, please leave it. Okay, y'all? Don't put too much emphasis on the situation. It ain't got nothing to do with you, okay? tap in and see what we have what's going on for the current energy for the collective what do they need to know about the current energy now this song is stuck in my head this morning okay i just got done praising okay i started my dinner and like I, it's a it's a new energy so i did a reading last night 333 came out and uh 333 is literally you are in alignment right so you guys could be in an alignment for something right now. But yeah, this song is stuck in my head. Uh, it's a church song. Now behold the land. <laughs> the precious lamb of God. <laughs> so yeah. Some of you guys could be in the energy. You just feel like you're in an alignment for something. And you are. You're getting ready for something. relationships i'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good so you are in alignment for new connections new relationships okay you guys are aware of this as well yeah you are opening up your heart and you're speaking the truth so some of y'all are learning to let go and let god honey <laughs> ain't that it it's like it's hard y'all like okay it's hard to let go and let god especially if you constantly I being hurt like some of y'all y'all constantly being hurt like y'all walk away from people and they just stab you in the back you could be bitten to somebody and they could just be telling all your business it's like weird yeah the devil in the moon it's weird it's like you vent to people you tell people things this is why it's so important to keep your relationship with God with the most high of the universe however you you know confirm your ancestors whatever it is that you connect stay connected because it's like when you turn your back People are literally gossiping, okay? Doing doing work behind your back. Like, and when I say work, it don't necessarily have to be magic. It could be like word magic, projection, saying stuff about you, and it's word. It's word. Give me one. It's so word. Yeah, nine of cups, but you're still gonna get your wish fulfillment. Some of you guys are waiting on some type of. Uh, opportunity to come in and it's coming in pretty fast okay i feel like you got a lot of people watching to see what this is though that you got going on somebody is really like concerned about what it is that is fulfilling you somebody wants to know what is occupying your time what is keeping you in this energy but like i said i just feel like it's god i said this in a reading i did last night like somebody is like trying to take your whole life force not knowing your life force your energy comes from god <laughs> It literally comes from God. Y'all, look at this pretty little angel. My mom's in a nursing home. So I, I know y'all know how hard that I work to keep my mom out the nursing home. I don't even want to talk about it. But, yeah, surrender. But some things is beyond our control. I, I'm understanding that more and more, you know, because I I want it so bad that I put her in a nursing home. Right now, I'm fighting to get her out of there, okay? But her roommate actually gave this to me. This is the second time somebody has gave me this angel gave me an angel that is similar to this okay with a baby this is how i know who i am because it's like ain't no way i just keep getting gifted these from the universe literally like earth angels <laughs> okay some of y'all are earth angels okay yeah third eye chakra you are awakened to this as well you understand who you are you are earth angel her you could be getting gifts from the universe. You have a deep knowing. It has a lot to do with your imagination. Yeah, nurturing your inner child. Y'all literally nurturing your inner child. You could be realizing somebody was a false twin flame and now somebody is like <clears throat> in fear of this and consciously that you believe. You know somebody was being envious. So you attracting people on a different vibration. And somebody is just mad because you are aware that <clears throat> they're not real. Okay. 
like I said, this person could have been, <laughs> you could have been confiding in this person because you be type people, you don't even have a lot of friends. So when you do talk to people, you really talk to people. But you was talking to somebody who was toxic, like somebody that, they was waiting on something to erupt. Like somebody, some people are just weird like it. Somebody is just waiting on your damn files. But it's like you stay connected to God, you stay connected to source so it's like, yeah, even if you fall, you're going to get back up again. Get back up again. Get back up again. <laughs> Not a sword baby birth from the king of pinnacles. <sighs> Somebody's thinking hard about what they have done. What is this? Somebody's thinking hard about what they have done. Clarify the mind of swords. Yeah, somebody's thinking hard about this. Somebody feels like they should have been kind to you. We have prayers go up, blessings come down. So like I said, you guys could be conforming to God. Like literally, you can just be praying. Okay, you're not even worried about your future, but somebody wants to be kind to you because they feel like they messed up their own future. Coming for you, Clara. Yeah, the food. Somebody feel like they take they made a foolish decision. Or this person could be thinking about making a decision to take what resonates to to come towards you. To offer you something. Yeah, courage. Somebody's trying to find the courage and the strength to come towards you and offer you something. But it's something about your awareness. It's something about what you are attracting. Somebody could even just be coming towards you because they know you are about to attract somebody on your vibration. So it's like, no, they don't want you to go. <laughs> they don't want you to go. Yeah, strength. They know you have the strength. See, somebody didn't see that. See, people are going to get people and it's being judgmental. I pray for you, you pray for me, we're all a part of God's body. So you could even be praying for this person, I don't even know where it came from. You could be praying for this person, like, people are going to stop misjudging you. Like, literally, because it's like, people misjudge you and not even know that you be praying for them. We have courage, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence, and you can face fear with confidence. Somebody is like, what the fuck? They did not know you was this strong. <laughs> like, what? That's weird. Yeah, the star, because you a healer. You a healer? Somebody did not know you was a healer. <laughs> they didn't know you was a healer. So now somebody wants to be kind to you because they see that you really been praying for them. Set me free. I only hurt myself. I can't make this up. It's like I like I said, you praying for this person and like what? They try and trap you, make you feel some type of way. Divine family just fell on the floor. But yeah, now this person needs you to set them free. You could be running into some unexpected income. Yeah, your ancestors is like gifting you. Y'all, I'm telling you, somebody, whoever you are, you got to be gifted. And it's gonna be in a major way. You're gonna be so fulfilled, like it's gonna make you feel so secure and free uh freedom i possess the power and free will to create my own happiness and you create your own happiness you create your own world right now especially with this mindset with this universal mindset like i said that i pray for you you pray for me we are a part of god's body type of energy it's like whoever you are like you you I won't say too good of a person but them like you be praying for your enemies and they do say pray for your enemies and don't get me wrong but it is a time where you gotta rain justice on them too like call in for divine intervention it's like giving me that energy whatever you doing your ancestors is like baby we got you yeah keep working they like we got you you working hard too it's like they want you focus on work yeah healing because you healing right now and you staying grounded whatever you are doing is keeping you grounded i feel like your ancestors are keeping you grounded you guys could be spending time outdoors pouring into yourself yeah i'm telling you you are in your purpose i know what i'm here to do and you know what you heard to do somebody else they know it's too somebody's mad they can't keep you stuck in the past yeah 
two not staying stuck in the past. This is on top of the deck. This too shall pass. So something ain't lasting for long. And that's kind of how it is. Like, even when we hurt, like, we get these scars. And the scars symbolize that we are healing. Like, damn, ain't nothing. That shit ain't gonna hurt us for long. Judgment in four cups. <laughs> TNT is not say like this. Because the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Okay? Yeah, the moon. He came and said they may have life and have it abundantly. So you are in your purpose. So what is somebody confused about? Because they trying to figure out, like, well, how did God bust them with a friend like you? And they they expected you to be with them through thick and thin. After they trying to cause so much confusion. Could have even had you in, like, some third party. Or they could have had people doing magic on you in denial. Now they worry because you're healing. And they feel like something's an emergency. I'm hearing I'm slipping. I'm falling. I can't get up. So somebody feel like they can't get up. We have empathy. I'm open to seeing the both sides situation and service. I feel good when I can help others. Somebody is realizing who you really are in the spirit. I'm hearing your purpose. You being an empath. You being a service. You helping other people. And then they know they are narcissists. That's why they want you to set them free. They feel like they only hurt themselves. It's like you try. You can't run to heal this person. This to expose something to this person to show this person how to stay grounded, how to love themselves. Somebody used that against you. Like they thought it was a, a weakness or something. Like you like you like. I'm like excuse my like. I'm say nigga, you. I came from God. Like you <laughs> like nah, but for real though, will of fortune in reverse. Now they feel like they going through karma. We got Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo energy. I heard Leo. Aquarius, they could even want to give you something because they feel like they are going to go through some type of natural disaster, some type of terrible moment. I'm hearing sent from heaven. So somebody feel like you were sent from heaven, yo. Yeah, king of wands. Somebody is trying to get the strength to move forward from all of this. What is all of this? It's a lot of stuff going on in the background, though. And you don't even see it. It's like somebody's like, man, they missed out on a friend. Because it's like, whatever they are going through, they only hurt their skills. they like, what? What did I do? Yeah, great vibes. Somebody made a bad decision when it comes to choices. Four, four, four. And you made a good one. So you could have started rejecting this person. It was only for your protection. Huh? Yeah, I had fun while I lasted. Moving on to better. Yeah. So you moving on. Whoever this is, they lost out on a good friend. Um, cool. One more. Yeah, and then they feel guilty. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in myself's growth. Because somebody feel like they didn't release a belief system. Like, maybe you guys are spiritual. <laughs> maybe somebody didn't believe in that earth angel. Somebody's like, don't believe in them earth angels don't listen to them earth angels but not reality you were sent to help somebody now somebody's going through karma quite a feeling they feel guilty the devil y'all can't make it up no, they were trying to possess you control you chain you down make you conform to them somebody feel like like i said you an angel what this person was like they can, they can really control you with this hand. I'm getting a, 
don't know. It's giving up. I'm getting Medusa energy. It's like if they couldn't control you, they was going to try to curse you. Yeah, they was going to try to bully you. They could have been trying to bully you, control you, yeah, but you started protecting yourself. You started talking to God. Now somebody's realizing, oh man, you was down to earth. Like, you wasn't doing nothing to this person. Yeah, getting readings on your life. Somebody get readings on you all the time because they are sad, yo. They are hurt. By their own choices. Yeah, and then you should have grounded, protecting yourself, and you following the sign. Somebody is pissed off right now. Yeah, that you happy. I'm aware that being happy means I'm on the right path. So somebody was trying to figure you out, man. They was trying to figure you out so much to where they would do anything to to make you conform to them. Somebody thought they was your happiness. Never let anybody be your happiness. If you are out here searching for people to be your happiness, your peace, Lord, Jesus, I bless it, okay? Understand that we are the only ones that can make ourselves happy, truly happy, okay? And if you feel like you can't find the happiness and the strength to move forward, man, I'm telling you, pray, ask God to give you the strength, the happiness, the joy. He will fill your void, yo. Any type of void that you have, he is going to fill it in your heart, mind, body, and soul, yo. You feel like you're not achieving anything in life? If you wake up every day, you wake up, baby. I'm telling you, rejoice and be glad in the day because the, today is the day that the Lord has made. Yeah, we have happiness. Somebody wanted to end your happiness. They knew you was happy, confident, independent. Somebody just was mad because they felt like they were your twin flame or some two of cup situation. They were with somebody that they were happy with. <sighs> Anything else? You manifested a new life. Yeah, so something's over. It's it's over. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. That's the new life, baby. You better enjoy it. Well, yeah, I'm right here on my uh, kitchen counter because I'm cooking. <laughs> so I sit down, I thought, get them, you know, doing my little thing. Resilience is one of the strongest qualities you have. It has gotten you through so many trials and tribulations in the past, and it will continue to do so. Lean on that inner tower of the strength. And anytime that you need it, you got this. That's what you got. You got resilience, baby. You strong. Somebody thought that was a weakness, baby. Uh-uh. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't underestimate the power. Okay? Don't underestimate the power. Somebody didn't realize you got that pussy power. You got pussy power. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all can't. You ain't got to be female. But you got power within yourself to go through any trials and tribulations. Okay? And this is what it's getting you through. Leaning on your inner guidance, your inner strength. My my oldest daughter came to me yesterday, y'all, and was like, she was watching a movie about her and Tubman, and y'all blew my mind. It was 222 on the stove, so 222 could be significant as well. And she was like, uh, my mom was watching a movie about her and Tubman, and she was saying that uh, she leaned on her inner guidance to guide her. Like, she would pray, talk to God, and she let God guide her. And I was like, boom, confirmation. Some people don't believe it. Like, people believe, but they believe that you got to get to them to get to God. And you got to do this to get to God. And honey, listen, honey, God is in you. Whoever you are, God is in you. And you have to really believe this because it's like giving me this energy. People always want to, I want to change my life. I want to change my life. I need to do this. I need to do it. Do what you need to do, but understand that you, nobody can change you, baby. Nobody can make you happy. Nobody can do these things. We have to learn to do these things for ourselves. Do unto others what you want done to you. So if you out here doing people wrong, doing people dirty, baby, and understand that dirty and wrong is going to come back to you. Because you are the energy that you put out. And somebody has to understand this, man. And, and it's time to let this person go because you manifest a whole new life without this person. 
Now, whatever they going through in the background is something that they are going through because this is what they was trying to project onto you. This is not, it was not your destiny. It was not your fortune. Okay, you manifested a whole new life. So enjoy. Okay, you guys. That's all I got for y'all. Love and light. Namaste. Ashley.